Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome to our little corner of the internet at first. Please like and subscribe. Today I'm going to talk about From Captive to Conqueror. Amidst the azure expanse of the Mediterranean Sea, a Roman quinquirm, adorned with the insignia of Gaius Julius, Caesar sailed majestically through the waves. The sun cast its golden rays upon the waters, reflecting off the polished bronze shields of the legionaries, manning the ship's ramparts. Little did they know that their commander's journey would be interrupted by an act of treachery that would test their mettle and ignite a fire for vengeance within the heart of one young soldier, Alias. The cunning Cilician pirates lurking in the shadows of the coastal cliffs watched with bated breath as the Roman vessel drew nearer to their territory. They had grown bold, preying upon wealthy merchants and nobles amassing a fortune through ransoms and plunder. Their leader, a man named Scylla, saw an opportunity in Julius Caesar's ship a valuable prize with a substantial ransom. As the Roman quinquirm approached Alias, stood at his post scanning the horizon for any sign of danger. He was a young soldier full of ambition and determination, his eyes sharp with focus. But little did he know that this day would bring more than just a routine patrol. With a sudden burst of speed, the pirates' galleys leapt from the water, their crews wielding javelins and swords. The Roman soldiers were taken by surprise as the enemy closed in around them. Alias fought valiantly, his heart pounding in his chest as he defended his shipmates. But despite their bravery, they were no match for the superior numbers of the pirates. Amidst the chaos and clash of steel, Julius Caesar was seized by the pirates and dragged below deck. Alias watched in horror as his commander was taken captive, his heart heavy with despair and anger. He vowed to do everything in his power to free Julius Caesar from this hellish fate. Alias managed to escape the initial onslaught and made his way back to Rome. Upon reaching the city, he wasted no time in alerting the Senate of the kidnapping. The news spread like wildfire throughout the city, and soon Alias found himself leading a team of Rome's bravest soldiers, setting out on a mission to hunt down the pirates and bring them to justice. Their journey was long and arduous. They faced treacherous, seized hostile territories and relentless enemies. But through it all, Alias remained steadfast in his determination. He knew that time was of the essence and he would not rest, until Julius Caesar was safe. As they neared their destination, Alias and his team prepared for the final confrontation. They engaged the pirates in a fierce sea battle, their ships clashing together with the force of thunder. The air was filled with the cries of men and the shattering of wood. It seemed that the tide of battle had turned in their favor when suddenly Alias was struck down and taken captive. Desperate and alone, Alias found himself thrown into a pit among the other captured slaves. But even as he lay there, he refused to give up hope. He used his wits and intelligence to escape from the pit, turning the tables on the pirates. With the help of some unexpected allies, he managed to capture Scylla and his men. Triumphant Alias returned to Rome with the pirate leaders in tow. But when they reached the city, Caesar was no longer a captive. He had been freed through the efforts of his loyal allies and was once again in power. However, instead of merely taking revenge against the pirates, Caesar ordered them to be crucified as a warning to others. Alias watched from the sidelines as the pirates met their end, feeling a mix of relief, vindication, and regret for the loss of so many lives. He was hailed as a hero by his fellow soldiers and Roman citizens alike. But even amidst the celebrations, Alias could not shake off the memories of the horrors he had witnessed during the kidnapping and the subsequent revenge campaign. Haunted by his experiences, Alias vowed to dedicate his life to protecting Rome from threats both within and without. He became a beacon of strength and courage, inspiring others with his unwavering determination and unyielding spirit. And though the memory of that fateful day would never leave him, he found solace in knowing that he had played a part in bringing justice to those who deserved it most. From the depths of despair came a newfound sense of purpose fueled by the fires of vengeance and the unbreakable spirit of one young Roman soldier named Alias. 
and so the tale of Caesar's revenge against the Cilician pirates became a legend passed down through generations, an inspiring story of courage, determination, and the indomitable will of the human spirit.